Well, a new report out this morning, not yet confirmed by Fox News, but our correspondents are working on it, says that China has now sent a team of medical experts over to North Korea to take a look at Kim Jong-un. This comes as the North Korean leader's health remains unclear. For more insight, we're joined now by Bruce Klingner. He's a senior research fellow for Northeast Asia over at the Heritage Foundation. Uh, Bruce, thanks for joining us. Thanks. We're seeing everything now bubbling up in terms of foreign reporting from Kim Jong-un is totally fine, recovered well from his surgery in mid-April to he's actually in a vegetative state now verging on death. Based on what is known publicly and based on what you know about the regime, what's your best guess as to where he actually is? Well, quite simply, we don't don't know. As you point out, we've had rumors, uh, everything from he's dead, he's brain dead, uh, the U.S. intelligence saying that uh, he was seen walking around the port city of Wonsan several days ago and that he may have evacuated himself to the uh, Wonsan simply to avoid being uh, uh, infected by COVID. Uh, the Chinese medical team may be there to deal with COVID or if Kim has COVID or uh, others around him. So uh, we've had uh, initial reports which were downplayed by U.S., South Korean and Chinese officials. Uh, but then we've seen this recent spate of humor, rumors and we really don't know what's going on there. So we do know that he is 30, well, it is believed, estimated that he is 36 years old because the government never confirms his real age. Um, we also know from Western reporting and Western intelligence that he is in bad health. He has respiratory yeah. problems, heart problems. We know he had some kind of cardiac surgery in, in April. Um, tell us why at this moment, right, it, it, the North Korean leader being in bad health, potentially even passing, um, is something that the, you know, the U.S. should care about, that should grip our national attention amid this coronavirus pandemic. Seems like well, there's a whole lot of other things to worry about. Right. Well, as was the case when his father passed away, there's no formal succession plan in the North Korean constitution. Uh, we don't know if they have something behind the scenes. Uh, so right now, all of us are speculating who the next leader might be. Uh, there's not an obvious choice as when his father died and uh, Kim Jong-un had been groomed for about three years and uh, anointed as the next leader. Uh, we're speculating that his sister may be uh, the next leader. Uh, up until a few years ago, everyone would have thought that a strict Confucian Korean culture wouldn't allow a woman leader. Uh, but in the last couple of years, she's gained power, she's gained uh, authority, uh, and we've seen her coming out of the shadows, uh, really, for the, in the last couple of years. Uh, there's a uncle that, of Kim Jong-un, but he's been really exiled for about three decades in Eastern Europe, serving as ambassador to different countries, uh, but he recently came back. So there's always concern when you have a nuclear weapon state, if you don't know who the next leader is. Uh, it could be a, a smooth transition or it could be a power struggle where everyone's trying to grab the, the ring of power and then who has control of the nuclear weapons and the military. So it will be of great concern if, if Kim uh, dies without some formal succession plan. Are you worried about state collapse? Uh, Fox News spoke uh, to administration officials earlier in the week who said, um, you know, worst case scenario that accompanies a Kim Jong-un death is state collapse. And we see huge numbers of people starving, mm -hmm. facing starvation. We see North Koreans um, fleeing North Korea, crying across the um, Chinese border creating a refugee crisis. Does that square with what you foresee or worry about? There are a lot of, of worst case scenarios. Uh, if, if there is a regime collapse and a struggle for power, uh, unknown actions by military factions warring against each other, uh, there's concern that there could be an explosion in the sense of North Korea lashing out against its neighbors or an implosion with the, the regime collapse and instability. Mm. Uh, that said, you know, mm. we were equally concerned during the two previous uh, successions of the father and the grandfather when they passed away, and the system worked. There was a, a maintaining of, of stability. Yeah. So I think it's more likely the regime will maintain Bruce, itself. Yeah. Bruce, sorry to jump in there. We're coming up against um, a hard break, so we're going to okay. have to say thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Great. Thank you.